Today's Morning Minute. Which is harder to give away, your heart, your time, or your money? And we read in Luke chapter 6, verses 37 and 38 in the New Living Translation. Do not judge others, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn others, or it will all come back against you. Forgive others, and you will be forgiven. Give, and you will receive. Your gift will run Return to you in full, pressed down, shaking together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Luke chapter 6, verses 37, 38. Scripture says to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. God knows where your treasure is. There your heart will also be. Many times it is easier to give your time and money more than your heart. For it is with the heart that we are justified and made right with God. God wants your heart to be humbled and broken of pride. We can give money and time without our heart being surrendered and circumcised by the blood of Jesus. When we give God our heart, he gets our praise and worship, which results in the giving of our time and money. God's great paradox is that what you give away returns to you in great measure. Likewise, when you give extravagantly out of the generosity from your heart, generosity is returned to you in great measure. When you forgive others, you will be forgiven. And in Luke 14, verse 33, we read, Jesus said, Jesus said, in the same way, any of you who does not give up everything He has, give up everything he has, cannot be my disciple. Abraham gave his son Isaac on the altar in obedience and trust to God. Job lost his wealth, children, business, and reputation, yet praised God. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den for praying to God rather than worshiping the king. And let's look at Mark chapter 8, verse 34 in the Amplified, which is denying yourself. And this is Jesus speaking. Jesus called the the crowd together with his disciples and said to them, if anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, deny himself, set aside selfish interest and take up his cross, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come and follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example in living, and if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. Mark chapter 8, verse 34 in the Amplified. God wants us to, to deny ourselves and become love, which is his image and likeness. To love not your own life unto death. God loves you. God loves you. He's redeemed you. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen.